Hey guys, David here from Gugudu55 Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be taking a look at Apple's new OS and their Mac OS X lineup, Mac OS X Yosemite. Okay, so let's get started. So Yosemite is Mac OS X 10.10. .10. It's Apple's new OS that is going to be released to the public in the fall for free, which you will be able to download from the Mac App Store. However, right now, what I'm running is the beta version, which is available to developers. The version that I'm running here is the third beta version. Okay, so as you can see here, the actual interface has been changed quite a bit. It looks a lot more like iOS 7, and you can also see down here that they have redesigned the dock, and they've also added a lot of new stock icons. The main system font has also been changed to an iOS a 7-like font. Now one thing that Apple is also including in Yosemite is a new theme. So a lot of people have been waiting for this dark theme and the dark theme just basically inverses the colors and that looks pretty nice. So if we take a look at the window you can see that the windows are also a lot flatter and the buttons also look flatter again just keeping with that iOS 7 type theme. Now in addition to the flat windows that they have created in Finder you can also see that the transparency has come over from iOS 7 so if I move this around my background, you can see that the background is kind of shining through the side here like it does on Apple's mobile devices. And also if I'm scrolling through my files here, you can see that the title bar here is actually transparent. Now one thing that I couldn't show you in the system preferences pane, but I can show you here, is the green button. So the green button used to be the zoom button. However, in applications that support it, by default it is actually the full screen button. So you can see here that we are in a full screen finder window. Now if you want to exit, again, click that button again. If you still want to use that as the zoom button, however, all you have to do is hold down an option on your keyboard and it changes back to the zoom button. Again, this isn't in every application, it's only in applications that support full screen mode. Okay, now they've also made a lot of changes to some of the major Apple applications. Now if I open up Safari here, you can also see that Apple has added the transparent theme to Safari, which is kind of nice. And if we go ahead and go to a web page such as Google, just to get away from the transparency, you can see that everything is just kind of in the dock up here. So it looks a lot cleaner and it looks a lot nicer. Now the Mail app has also been updated to support the transparent theme, and if we go ahead and compose a letter. You can see up here that we also have a lot of formatting options, so we can go ahead and attach a file, which in the new mail version, if you're sending to somebody else with a Mac, it also works sort of like a Dropbox. You have your normal text, and over here is what's really new. You actually have a lot of templates that you can use for different stuff. Finally, the calendar app has also been redesigned, so now it works a bit more like iOS 7's calendar, in the sense of organization and also adding new events. Okay, so the main feature of Yosemite that Apple wants you to take note of is actually the integration with iOS 8, which is also going to be released in the fall. Since I don't have iOS 8 beta, I can't show you everything, but I'm going to do my best to show you what I can. Okay, now if we open up the FaceTime app, you can see that once again, FaceTime has been changed to that sort of iOS 7 look. I don't have a webcam, so you can't see, but it will also reflect your camera in this black area here like it does in iOS 7. One cool thing about FaceTime is if we look at the icon here, you can see that there's actually a little phone icon beside it. What the phone icon is, is with Yosemite, Apple wants to bring closer integration between the OS and also iOS 8. So basically, Yosemite has the capability of picking up phone calls that you receive on your iPhone. Now, like I said, since I don't have iOS 8, I can't show you this. However, I will show you what it would look like by FaceTiming myself from my iPhone here. And you can see that there's a notification for FaceTime here. So that is exactly what would happen if somebody were to call you. You can accept accept or decline it, and you can use your Mac's mic and speakers to talk to the person. And just to take note, you can see here that the notifications have been changed just a bit. They now support a more integrated look with the OS. So iMessage has also been redesigned, not just in Yosemite, but also in iOS 8. But the biggest new feature in iMessage is the ability to send audio clips. So if I just press this microphone button here, you can see that it opens up and we can start recording an audio message. When we're done, all you have to do is hit the stop button and you can go ahead and send that if you would like and the other person can listen to that. Again, that's a feature that will be present in both iOS 8 and in Yosemite. If we take a look at Notification Center, you can also see that Notification Center takes on iOS 7's design. One of the biggest new features in Notification Center is the ability to add extra widgets. So I can add stuff such as a calculator, weather, world clock, and all that sort of stuff. So you can go ahead and add that to your notification center. In Yosemite, along with iOS 8, Apple actually plans to allow developers to create their own widgets for notification center. So now in addition to the stock widgets, we're also going to be seeing a lot of developer made widgets. Now probably one of the biggest changes is Spotlight. So Spotlight has been around since OS X 10.4 Tiger. However, it used to be just a drop down box. But now if you click on it, it's actually right in the center of the screen. Spotlight has also been improved. So now you can also do calculations, which you could do before. But now the results just sort of look a bit nicer with Spotlight. So if we do six plus six, for example, 
You can see here that it tells us exactly what that is. Searching has also been improved, so it searches faster through more files. So if I go ahead and type in, let's say carbon, you can see that if we go down here to definition, you can see here that the definition is actually integrated right into Spotlight. Now, in addition to those new features, Apple actually plans to integrate Yosemite more closely with iOS. So in iOS 8, you're actually going to be able to pick up work that you've been doing on your computer and actually bring it over to your Apple device. So let's say I was writing an email on my computer and I wanted to continue on my device. I could very easily just take a look at my device and there would be a little icon there that I could swipe and I could continue my email from my device. So just to sum that all up, the main two features of Yosemite are the new look and also the closer integration with iOS. Personally, I think that this is a great OS and I do think that Apple is headed in the right direction with this. Now, if you do want to get Yosemite before the general public, when it's released in the fall, you can sign up for free to the OSX beta program. Unfortunately, it is limited to the first million people that have signed up. However, I don't believe that a million people have signed up yet. So if you're quick about it, you can probably go ahead, click the link down below, and sign up for the OSX beta program now. You'll get an email once the beta is released to you, and you'll be able to go ahead and download it and install it on your computer. If you don't want to do that, you'll have to wait until the fall, where you'll be able to download it for free from the Mac App Store. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more, and also don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.gogood55techtutorials.com. All the links are in the description below. Thank you.